Everyone, welcome to this video. If you are looking for a quick and easy way to install and wire your Pole Mr. Sol inverter, you have come to the right place. Today, we are going to show you how to install this solar inverter quickly so that you can enjoy the convenience of solar energy in the shortest possible time. Well, we will take the Pole LVN series inverter as an example and guide you through the installation, wiring, and setup process via video. Well, inside the packaging, you will find an LVN series inverter, an installation menu, an installation guild card, a warranty card, two battery terminals, two battery terminal screws, and four spare screws. This is a new solar charging inverter that integrates solar energy storage, AC charging energy storage, and pure sideway output functions with DSP control and advanced orographies. It has fast response speed, high reliability, and complete with industrial standards. There are four charging models and two output models to choose from, meeting different application requirements. Whether you are an experienced installation master or a DIY enthusiast, we will provide you with the most comprehensive guidance to install your Pole Mr. Solar Inverter without spending too much time. So, let's get started. As you can see, this is our studio simulated installation scene. Due to space limitation, today I will use a mounting panel instead of a wall to simulate the installation process of the inverter. Before we install the inverter, it is necessary to ensure the safety and the reliability of installation environment. It is recommended to install the inverter to a dry, temperature appropriate and well ventilated room. And leave a gap about 20 cm on both sides of the inverter and about 50 cm at the top and bottom to ensure air circulation around the equipment and ensure sufficient heat dissipation. After confirming the location, we can fix the equipment to the wall with the recommended M5 screw. However, since we will mounting the inverter on the installation board, I will use the zip tie to securing it. Okay, now we have completed the installation work. Next, we need to connect the module required for the inverter to operate normally, including the battery, AC input and output, and PV modules. In addition to these main modules, we can also choose to connect to the required communication accessories. Before starting the wiring, we first need to prepare cables and circuit breaker that meet the specifications. The cable gauge and circuit breaker specification are determined by the maximum current that cable needs to be bare. According to current parameter of this inverter, the instruction manual has provided matching wire gauge and circuit breaker specifications. Therefore, I prepared two 2-gauge wire for connecting the battery, four 10-gauge wire for the AC input and output, two 12-gauge wire for the PV input, and one 11-gauge wire for grounding the device. Here I have utilized the five different colors to distinguish between the positive and negative wire, the live wire, the neutral wire, and the grounding cable. This approach significantly reduces the risk of reverse connection and other potential errors. And I highly recommend it that everyone follow suit. A 
Additionally, I have included four two-pole circuit breakers in my setup, comprising of two DC circuit breakers rated at 25 Ampere and 160 Ampere respectively, as well as two 40 Ampere AC circuit breakers. After the preparation is complete, let's start operation officially. To begin, we're gonna take off the port cover by unscrewing two screws. Now let's get started with connecting the battery cables. Make sure you match the positive terminal with the positive terminals and the negative terminal with the negative terminals. Next up, it's time to hook up the solar panel into cables. Finally, let's connect the AC input and the output cables. It's super important to have a separate circuit breaker for each input and output line. This not only improves safety but also makes maintenance easier down the line. And don't forget, for your own safety, the inverter needs to be properly grounding using the grounding port on the unit. Try to keep the grounding points as close as possible to the inverter for maximum effectiveness. After completing the wiring steps, it's essential to double check the connection for any reversals and ensure they are firmly security connected. Once verified, retouch the button cover of the inverter using the provided screws. Then proceed to close the circuit breaker at the battery terminal. Now we are ready to power on the inverter by flipping the bolt shape switch located at the bottom. By closely monitoring the indicator lights, we can accurately assess the device operation status. A flashing AC INV indicator lines signify that the inverter is functioning accurately. Next, close the circuit breaker at both PB input and AC input terminals. Lastly, close the circuit breaker at AC output terminals. If both indicator lights continue to flashing normally and the false indicator lights remain inactively, it's indicator that inverter has successfully entered its normal operating status. Thank you for joining us in this video. We have demonstrated installation and wiring process for our Pole LVN series inverter. After this, I will provide a detailed explanation and demonstration in the next video on how to figure the parameter of the inverter through the LCD screen. We hope this video has been helpful and we look forward to sharing more insight and demonstration with you in our upcoming video. If you have any question or feedback, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information content. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.